of over 100 cars, local residents were patiently waiting for their bucket of free cleaning supplies and their free tarps. Some of the people I spoke to with say they're still waiting on insurance payouts and these tarps will give them some temporary help. About four times I already changed the tarp because the insurance is not, settlement is not, uh, you know, going nowhere. So it's going to help us a lot. For others, the supplies serve as a precautionary measure that they'll hold on to in case of any future hurricanes. Uh, good thing to be prepared so if you can, get down here and get the supplies. And hopefully we won't need to use them, but it's great that Shawla County is providing this for us so we can be ready. The volunteers who handed out the supplies are part of the Community Emergency Response Team. After disasters, they work with shelters, call centers, and at outreach events like this. More than 400 volunteers are part of the program. This is the first actual event that I've attended, so I really don't know what to expect here. So I'm a retired fireman from up in Michigan. We do a lot of community events, so I'm hoping to get back to our community. In addition to the distribution of physical supplies, Project Hope is also on site, offering much needed mental health resources. It's clear that today's event hit it out of the park for many Port Charlotte residents. And although we can't stop the storms from coming, we can certainly prepare for them. Reporting from Port Charlotte, Anvar Bruziev, Fox 4 News.